first this break, though, witnessing the world's breaking news events live on TV would have been unthinkable when this station first went to air in 1962. In tonight's special feature, we're looking at how your news has changed over the past 60 years. This will be followed at 6.45 by the latest news from the TNT9 newsroom. And so began TNT9's very first news broadcast. The segment would run for just 15 minutes and had anchor Bruce Farrer reading stories cut straight from the newspaper. Locally shot footage would later join, including one of our earliest major exclusives, when TNT9 captured a crash landing at Launceston Airport, plus a gas explosion which rocked the streets and an inferno at department store Fitzgerald's. The fire has gone right through the old building, which Fitzgerald's have occupied for about eight years. Before long, our coverage had spread to all corners of the state, from Hobart's tragic Black Tuesday bushfires to the opening of a new iron ore mine at Savage River and the national controversy surrounding Avoca's annual roo shoot. But newsreel from interstate or overseas still had to be flown in. In some cases, Tasmanians wouldn't see pictures until a week after they were taken. By the 80s, that time had reduced drastically, thanks to satellite technology. Nine's news team presents the most up-to-date and comprehensive coverage of news from all parts of the state, together with the latest satellite stories from overseas, plus all the big ones that happen interstate. Local news was also pushing ahead in leaps and bounds. Out went bulky film cameras, in came videotape and a sharper news product at half past six. Well, most of the time. Good night, good evening in tonight's news. But getting tapes from the northwest coast to the studio wasn't so easy. It relied on old-fashioned goodwill from people driving to Launceston in what was known as the Pony Express. We'd skid to the side of the road with the van side on so people could see who we were and we'd try and flag traffic down to, to sort of say, look, can you take this to Lodgeson for us? And if you take it to the studio, there's $20 waiting for you there when you get there. As the 90s ushered in the era of Southern Cross nightly news... With Kay Wilkinson. Live crosses became more common, as did around-the-clock coverage of the world's biggest events. But in 1996, Southern Cross turned Tasmanian television convention on its head. Southern Cross Nightly News will move, as of Monday, to the earlier time slot of 6pm. Making Southern Cross half an hour earlier than its rivals. This helped the station gradually gain ground in the commercial news ratings war. More fresh looks came in the new millennium. along with one of the biggest stories in Tasmanian history. From Australia, late today came word of an incredible rescue. The Great Escape, which captivated the globe, as Todd Russell and Brant Webb emerged from what they jokingly called their two-star hotel, creating a media frenzy in the Tamar town of Beaconsfield and a huge bar tab at the pub. The whole town appeared to be there. Well, almost everyone. Someone forgot to tell this man what was going on. We have closed the news agency. In 2011 came another news makeover. This is Southern Cross News with Joe Palmer. The last on the old set. Joe, somebody's done a lot of work making that all look fresh and new. Pity they couldn't have done that for me. I think they tried. <laughs> Before the antiquated control room was finally shut down after so many years of service, opening the door to a brand new home for 7 Tasmanian News in the same building, but a long way from where it all began. Tom Johnson, 7 Tasmania News.